Hello everyone! Welcome back again to my channel. And today I'm going to show you a special recipe. Since Christmas season, Christmas day already gone. But I just want to make sure before this year end, I am going to make a special recipe on my own version out of that leftover ham in our fridge. So mommies out there, don't worry. We don't want to waste any food. We don't want to waste any leg ham. But we are going to make another special recipe out of that leftover leg ham. So, you know, on my own version. So don't worry guys. I'm going to show you how. I just want to make sure that it's going to be delicious, yummy, healthy, and super simple to make. So let's get started on making the Suchini leg ham on my own version. So we're gonna start off slicing our leftover leg ham from the Christmas season. And since we're going to um, use it as an ingredient, the main ingredients for our making sushini ham boat. Um, it's okay to cut them like a little bit thinner. You don't need to cut them thin. As much as possible guys, we're gonna be slicing them in a small pieces of um, square or cubes. So now we're going to slice them small bits and pieces. Next step, we gotta wash our zucchini. And then we're going to slice the zucchini. The top part and the bottom part. The top part and the bottom part. Once we cut the top part and the bottom part, we're gonna slicing this in a half on a vertical slice. Just be careful guys when you're slicing this. So after slicing the zucchini in a vertical into half, we're going to scoop up this flesh out from the zucchini. So we have to do this gradually, do this gradually. You need to find um, a small spoon or you know um, a narrow spoon like this, not a wider spoon because it will damage the edge of that zucchini. We're gonna scoop them out, everything. I'll show you until I go to the bottom part. Thank you. 
and we're gonna do this to the rest of the of the zucchini and the flesh that we remove out from the zucchini we're going to keep this and include it in the filling that we're going to make later so after doing that zucchini we're going to prepare the um, baking dish first we're gonna spray with a um, any kind of oil but as much as possible if you can get the olive oil or the canola oil or the vegetable oil that should be fine after we're going to spread the tomato sauce at the bottom of that dish spread the tomato sauce chunk tomato sauce or even the, um, the syrup one, you can do that. And now, we're going to spread them all over around that um, baking dish. Yeah. And we're going to start to put our sochini bowl. Pile them up nicely so that's five sochini bowl and after we get a sprinkler a salt in each one of the bowl and ground pepper and after that we're gonna set it aside and do the filling let's chop up the onion and we slice the capsicum The flesh that we scoop out from the out from that zucchini, we're going to um, slice them. And the last ingredients that we're going to slice is the tomatoes. So let's start turning on the stove. We're gonna put in some olive oil. Putting the garlic in. Put the onion in. Mix them first. And we're adding salt. Now the onion is cooked, we're going to add our leg ham that we chop up. We're going to add in our pepper. I also wanted to add extra ingredients here, like um, cracked pepper and my granulated 
garlic and other seasonings for my taste liking and you gotta give them a mix again I'm just gonna add in a little bit of um, red wine vinegar here because I like it I like the taste just to help them lose all those ingredients and help them cook well and when you're starting to add the flesh of that zucchini we add in the capsicum or the bell pepper following with the tomatoes and last just a hint of salt and I'm starting to mix them, combine them, incorporate them all together before we cover it and leave it simmering for about 5 to 10 minutes. Okay guys, while waiting for the um, peeling to be cooked and waiting for it to be simmered, um, we're gonna check our sushini here. And you will notice that there's a lot of uh, wet or a liquid inside of the sushini. We need to remove them because we don't want our peeling to be, um, you know, um, over wet. We make sure that we're gonna remove that liquid out from the succhini. You know where it that is come from? That liquid from the salt that we put it in. That's it. And now we're gonna beat our eggs in a bowl. For that filling, we need two eggs. Guys, let's check. So, you see that liquid there? We're gonna get a scoop, one or two of that liquid out from that filling. And liquid we're gonna put in one tablespoon of corn flour and before we put the um, corn starch mixture we're going to get a handful of breadcrumbs here and we're gonna give them a mix and that's where we're going to include the cornstarch mixture As you can see guys, it is starting to become sticky and incorporating each other because of that ingredients, the secret ingredients that we put it in. Alright, and now that's about it. We're gonna remove it and let it cool for about 15 minutes. Alright guys, we're gonna start stuffing the cheese at the bottom of that sushini. And we're gonna slice and chop up our spaghetti. 
spring onion for our garnish. Okay guys, we're going to preheat the oven, pan for us, and to 200 degree for about 40 minutes. There you go. And we're going to mix our egg beaten. And right after that, we're going to start stuffing up that sushi. And now, we're going to do the other tray. And I'm starting to put it in in the oven. Okay. And since we're going to um there Alright guys we remove the um um tray of sushini bowl from the oven because we gotta sprinkler our cheese on top of it and we're going to put it back and let it melt the cheese for about three minutes so that's a big tray of sushini ham recipe now let's try our sashimi humble recipe. So that's my version of sashimi ham bowl. You can make this recipe ahead of time if you are going to have a special gatherings or even if you are having a special occasions or you can prepare this recipe guys if you are going to visit your friends or your loved ones. A very simple and easy recipe guys but it's gonna be the most yummy healthy and nutritious recipe that you're going to prepare for the whole family so i can't wait for you to try this recipe of mine and make it on your own version so guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe on my channel and please do share all my videos and We'll see you next time on my next video. Thank you guys and bye-bye.